Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Everest Gore-Tex boots. These are Revit's new for 2022 adventure touring boots. I've worn this pair for around 700 miles, which includes a 500 mile tour. So I can run through what they're like, as well as what they're made from and what they're meant to do. Personally, I feel these boots tip more towards the touring side than the adventure side as I'd want a bit more support really for riding off-road. These are a bit light for that, but for road trips on adventure bikes, then I think these are definitely well worth a look. They're made from a combination of Nubuck leather, suede leather, ripstop polyester, hyperlon, and then around the front of the toe, you get rubber, which extends to where the boot contacts the gear lever. They've got reinforced heels and ankles with a plastic cup to protect the toes. The sole is Revit's own compound that gives a good amount of grip without being so chunky that they feel awkward or slippery on the bike's pegs. There's a reflective tab above the heel. It might look small, but that's the area where a car's headlight is most likely to land, so it's in the right place to have an effect. They're easy to open with a play it straight Velcro flap that protects a long zip, and there's also a tab on the top of the zip puller, so you can put that back down before you put the flap over the top. Waterproofing in these boots comes from a Gore-Tex membrane. You pay a premium for having that, but it's proven to keep your feet dry. And in my experience, it's also the best when it comes to breathability. So I wore these boots during the first heat wave of 2022 when it was just shy of 40 degrees. And I thought I was crazy taking waterproof boots with me on a trip, but my feet were never uncomfortably sticky. They didn't even end up particularly ponky after three days of riding in temperatures of 30 degrees and above, which I thought was amazing. The materials on the outer and that Gore-Tex membrane combine to keep my feet relatively cool in quite extreme temperatures and I think that's a real feather in the cap of these boots. The CE label on the inside also shows that these boots give tested weather protection. The WR mark shows they've been lab tested for their water resistance. It's not compulsory for boots to undergo that test even if they're described as waterproof. It's voluntary on the part of the manufacturer whether they submit their boots for that test or not. So credit to Revit for doing that and proving these boots will do what they say and keep your feet dry. I have to admit I didn't face heavy duty rain while wearing these boots but I did have one really wet morning that was enough to soak through the rest of my non-waterproof riding kit but these boots repelled that easily. The rest of the CE tests are compulsory and the Everest Gore-Tex boots are rated to level two in the height category. That just shows that they're full height boots. And in the three technical tests, they meet the basic level one. Those tests are for resistance to abrasion, cuts, and also crushing forces trying to fold the sole over laterally. These are light boots and it doesn't surprise me that they're level one really as flexibility is important on something like this. And that will mean compromising on protection levels compared to a stiffer and heavier race boot or adventure boot, for example. Finishing up with the interior, there's a soft and squishy insole that can be taken out and you can also replace it if it loses that squish. When you come to put them back on, they open up nice and wide and there are pull loops at the back that make it really easy to do that. I found these boots fastened up nice and tight and I could easily fit these inside the textile trousers, even a pair of trousers that had a very tailored fit around the ankles, which I thought might make it a little bit tricky to get the boots inside. Okay, so onto sizes and pricing. The Everest Gore-Tex come in sizes 39 to 48, which converts to five and a half to 13 here in the UK. They cost £239.99 as we record this, which is very respectable for a pair of full length Gore-Tex boots. They're too new at the moment to have any customer reviews to go on, but I found them to be very comfortable, flexible boots that breathed well in some of the hottest temperatures I've ever known on a bike. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Everest Gore-Tex boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 